This is the Shushu Studio in its most natural state. A disaster. Not appropriate for a tour. Ooh. Cleanliness, cleanliness, magical cleanliness. A favorite trick as of late is to take a medical tuning fork. Did this in impossible feeling in the bridge. At the beginning of Chocolate Makes You Happy, we recorded a single hit of every gong or bell that we had and then edited them together to make a rhythm in the computer. These are the Roland MC-307s, the Shushu drum machine of choice. Uh, we use these for about half of the songs on uh, Dear God I Hate Myself, um, and have been using them since the beginning of Shushu. Moving from a trio to a quartet, these are the four stylophones, still functioning stylophones that we have. We use these on, I think, Secret Motel and on a bonus track called The Ropes Have Pulled Tight. And nothing happened. This is a synth related to the stylophone that Kid 606 Miguel de Pedro gave to me. An incredibly generous gift that I wanted to repay him for somehow, but have yet to do. Possible feeling. This this one had a sticker on it that said "Sweet Tune Bina." It got rubbed off. This one belongs to Corey McCulloch still, who I haven't talked to in several years. Corey, if you see this, I'll send it back to you anytime you want. Know that it is well loved and frequently played. I had to I had to glue the knob because it was making a horrible sound, and I figured if it was just turned up all of the time, then I wouldn't be tempted to turn it and break it. There's a button here. Gold tone and silver tone. I never even made that connection before. This banjo was actually more expensive than this guitar, so it would make sense that this would be gold tone, and this would merely be silver tone. Uh, however, moving right along, this guitar is kind of a magical guitar, just, um, not only for the Slayer sticker, but just for if I'm ever if I'm ever stuck for what to play next. Somehow, with deep within it, are all the ideas about music that I will ever have. A faithful friend, and this is the workhorse. This Cherry SG. It's the third one that I've had. One like a complete moron. I smashed the show, which I feel very sad about. This wall is just a blue wall. I would love to say that I had 100 preamps to choose from and therefore could make a definitive choice as to which one was superior, but I just have these three. However, this headphone amp, this is a pile of dolls, probably filled with mold at this point. A ghost, apparently a ghost. One could do worse than to rely on a thesaurus now and then. This is the, oh my gosh, this is the bells and whistles collection. What a stupid joke and an incredible coincidence. Somebody calling me to tell me to shut up.
maybe the most important new acquisition has been the Korg DS10 for Nintendo. We use this like crazy. We use it for our app for our brain. This is, dear God, I hate myself. And this is Secret Motel. I highly recommend it. Um, the nice thing about it is that you can work on it in, while you're in the car, or on the bus, or on an airplane, or just waiting for somebody on the corner. Anyway, it has been an invaluable tool. And cute. Mine is cute. Cute overall. This is the ivy outside my window. I feel lucky to have a little bit of a view. Even though if it only reminds me of my failings. I was suckered in to blue microphones because they look unusual. But I suppose that's their marketing plan, right? Now a lot of people are making unusual looking microphones. But I shan't be fooled again. This one I used on Hyunhei's theme. This one I used on almost everything else because it could take a little bit of a louder signal. And while this one sounds prettier, one must be more genteel with it. And while this one sounds more workmanlike, you can be workmanlike with it. You just fucking slam it. You can smash it. It doesn't care. This one would cry and fall apart. Well. And um, <laughs> I bought my mother along with the chips. I said she was a big fan of that because we bought it. So I bought it over like, mom, I'm gonna make sure you meet the internet too, Is it funny that this one's just a tuner? Something that Greg did that I really loved was taking this normal kick drum sound and with an equalizer notching in different frequencies with a very narrow cue that then turned the kick drum into a chord. Love it! You could listen to this all day. I might. It's on a loop. Have you ever seen the replacements video that's just a speaker? We had the children from Immaculata Catholic School play these string parts, but we didn't have enough headphones for everyone, so we just gave one set of headphones to the conductor and fed her this uh, kick drum track. The best thing about my ancient Pro Tools setup is the pitch shift, which is from the mid 90s, and everything that you put through it ends up sounding completely wrong and unexpected. That kick drum trick was, I for forgot to mention, for the song House Sparrow. This, however, is a rock sparrow. I forgot to mention as well that the string parts were from the song Grey Death. These are people attempting to prevent death. The afore viewed pitch shifting example was from the song Dear God I Hate Myself. <laughs>